Sorry, England, Irish traveller Josie and English traveller Swanley are about to spend their first Christmas together. What one are you getting? Christmas pudding with brandy. They have come a long way since meeting earlier in the year. First saw his photo on Facebook and thought, <laughs> nice guy. <laughs> I don't know about your dress. Seventeen-year-old Josie is now five months pregnant. So has reality lived up to the fairy tale? This, that, this time last Christmas, I was at home, single, no boyfriend, no fiance, waiting for Christmas with mommy and daddy. Now I'm married to him. <sighs> Josie is looking forward to the trappings that come with a traveller marriage. I'm obviously happy about the future because in the future we'll have loads more children. We're going to our own children's weddings, christenings, holy communions, the whole of it. We're all of it to come. There's only one day in the future I'm really looking forward to. It's that divorce. Oh God, I can't wait. You know you're dope. For the meantime, Josie has far more important things to think about, like the Christmas shopping. So we've just got to get my mummy and my daddy something today, and he's mummy and his daddy, and two or three of the children, sort them out. <clears throat> For labourer Swanley, this is a painstaking chore. So that's what I hate about going shopping with Josie. You blink and she's gone. As if shopping wasn't tough enough, trying to agree on presents is even harder. Oh, I was going to say Sam, the big doll for Simon. A boy doll. No, Josie, he ain't queer. Yeah, I know he's not a queer, but he's always, he's only a child, so it's funny. You don't get a doll for a boy. He's only a baby. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Josie, look, I don't mind sitting down. You can do what you want. Can we have a look at the, come on then, follow me. I do. Where's Please. The, the, oh, I don't know. Why is it you? Why are you doing everything? Like your life's so sad and you've just fed up a living. Uh, you try to be a bit happy. And... Well, yeah, I can be happy. Oh, for a whole lot of it, all you've done is be ha un unhappy. I'm happy, Jesse. Why are you acting like you're I know you're happy, but you're acting like <laughs> all sarcastically. Stupid. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> Dope. Over in Middlesex, England. Josie and Swanley are on their way to find out the sex of their first child. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling very nervous and excited. I don't know, a boy first is always better, but I'm not too fast, nor as it's healthy. I think I can cope with either way. Finding out the sex of their baby is an early Christmas present for the young couple. I'm feeling very excited. Um, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's stupid, I think, but... I don't know, I just can't wait to find out what I'm having. Don't know how to take it. Just because it's so, it's so emotional or...? No, I ain't emotional. No, you don't ask questions like that. I'm a geezer. You, don't, you know what I mean? You don't ask the questions like that. With Swanley's emotions carefully tucked away, the couple get their results from an ultrasound scan. What's the news? It's the little girl. Everybody was wrong. It was the little girl. And yeah. how are you feeling? I'm it's very, very happy. She said everything at the moment seems all OK. She's healthy at the minute. Everything's all good. What are we going to do now? Have a look in some shops, some baby shops. Now that the sex is known, it's the perfect excuse for Josie to go shopping with cousin Shannon. What one do you like better, that one there? That one there. Or that one? No, this one, Josie. Josie, this one. But the bright colours and soft fabrics are out of Swanley's jurisdiction. I'll leave us all to it. Best of luck. Bye. Bye. This ain't my thing. I don't, know. I don't know what I'm buying, do I? I don't know what I'm getting. I'll just leave it to the women. You want to see the glass bottles? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Can I have a look at them pink shoes up there, please? The size ones with the diamonds on. The shoes, yeah. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? 17-year-old Josie has always wanted a little girl. I don't know what, I'm really looking forward to getting its clothes and dressing it and fixing it and winding it and 
I'm just looking forward to being a mummy, really. And so how does it feel that now, now it's, not, it's not toys anymore, it's now a real... Well, it's still a toy to me, can't it? I know it sounds sick, but it's still a little toy. <laughs> the baby will be getting dressed up, it won't be able to sleep. Good luck and wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank I'll be back in to see you. Okay, Just go back in a couple of weeks, yeah? But, or, or a few days, probably. Get that dress, give me it, I'll get it. Oh. You get it, Shaman, I'll take it. I can't fucking lift it.